Today we have more news about the upcoming updates and this time it's official. A review of the fourth major update is released on the official Chinese website. If you remember from yesterday's video I mentioned that we will have an update on September 21st and it turns out to be true. This might mean that every other thing on that leak can be true as well. Like pets, new PvP modes and a new class but today we will talk about the official news. This new major update is called Dynasty Festival or something like that. Since these are translated from Chinese, some things might change. Now let's check out what they say in the blog post. In June, the anniversary celebration began, unveiling a new chapter of Immortal. In July, the Diablo universe welcomed its first new class in nearly a decade, the Blood Knight. Now the ever-advancing Diablo Immortal is set to reignite the flames of war with the release of a new version called Dynasty Festival on September 21st. As the autumn winds sweep across the sanctuary, the beacon of war is about to be lit. Adventurers, hurry and follow the guidance, climb to the peak of glory and embark on a new journey. And now we are gonna read the first update they talk about, new mechanism, intense battles peak the excitement. The sanctuary is filled with mist and challenges. Adventure is never a solo battle, the new version Dynasty Festival is about to launch with a complete overhaul of the guild PvP gameplay. The new mechanism brings more strategic choices, more flexible tactical confrontations and even more accelerating battles. The flames of war are about to ignite. Whether you are a strategist or a hands-on player who wins through micromanagement, everyone can find immense joy in the new guild wars. I repeat, in the new guild wars. The new version is about to launch, write your own legend and chase the ultimate glory together. Well, I'm not really sure if they are gonna add a completely new war system that we can actually fight against the other clan, but probably this is just some extra tweaks to the current Shadow War system. If they add a new system that we can actually fight against other players, that would be amazing. And next we have some stuff about Immortals. Glory upgrade. Wu will rise and fall in the Immortal Dynasty. Past glories won't be buried in the river of history. The medals of Immortals still tell the tales of their glorious journeys to the adventurers who come after. As the old gives way to the new, the wheels of fate turn again. The new version Dynasty Festival sets new heights of glory, greatly enhancing the rights of the immortal faction. There are also exclusive clocks to commemorate past brilliance, as a token of gratitude for the protection of the immortals. Well, this is not really revealing anything. If the wording is correct, they might add new clocks, I don't know, but I'm expecting more rewards for immortals. And I think they should reset the longest reign holders once every couple of months, so new clans can compete for it every so often. We mentioned this next one yesterday, it's about the new dungeon. Unveiling the secrets of ancient lands. The story of Leonic Dynasty is considered the greatest tragedy in Diablo universe. But do you truly know the entire history of this family? By chance adventurers will step into a familiar yet strange old land. However things have changed. Monsters are everywhere and a terrifying aura emanates from the entrance. With ruins everywhere you look, is this place a treasure land or a human purgatory? Push open the doors covered in historical dust, delve deep into the mist-filled underground corridor and you will find the secrets hidden in the history of the dynasty. Well, this looks like a backstory of the dungeon but we don't know if they are going to add the new set items with it. Hopefully they will add the new set items with this dungeon so maybe we can see some changes in the current meta with the new possibilities that come with a new set. And the next one is about new and returning players. Reducing burden. Say goodbye to level and power struggles. Break free from unreasonable grinding. The new version Dynasty Festival will continue the core concept of Diablo Immortal to reduce burdens, further deepen the reforms of the Immortal 2.0 version and launch in the third wave of burden reduction for all, ensuring adventurers have a better gaming experience. Starting with gameplay mechanisms to make teaming up more flexible, improving daily activities for better efficiency and enhancing experience gains to ensure growth isn't restricted. In the upcoming Dynasty Festival version, Diablo Immortal will undergo targeted reforms from multiple angles, promoting the rapid rise of newcomers and aiding veterans in enjoying the game, allowing everyone to easily embark on a new adventure. Well, we don't see any details yet, so I'm not gonna say much. But the last one is exciting. It's called Dark Destruction God. The top glory in the decisive battle, Dark Destruction God. The trade union regrouped 8 vs 8 high flammation and chaotic battle, the first cross catchment co-creation invitation, dynasty peak patient war. The gains of the coronation rule of the immortal have increased 
and the exclusive clock bears in mind the glory. In the third season of the national downturn, the unknown rise and grow. New copy of Tristram Cathedral recalling the death of the young king, the Wang dynasty. Well, only thing I understood from this is 8 vs 8, I guess we will wait and see. Hopefully all of these will be released on the global version of the game as well. I think that's all for this one. Let me know what do you think about this update in the comments. Take care.